Rich Janet, the state awarded more than $700 million to New York's 10 regions. Rochester and the Finger Lakes finished at the top and will divvy up that $96 million across 76 projects. We zeroed in on one of them today, the $5 million going to the Golisano Institute for Sustainability at RIT. We wanted to know where is that money going? To know where the, Dr. Uh, Nabil Nasser is director the of the Golisano Institute yeah, for tax Sustainability. Tax How long is it going to take Brian for an installation? Uh, the installation today setting probably about an hour. The contractor today had a huge crane to install a 400 kilowatt fuel cell powered by natural gas that will supply electricity to the building. Dr. Nasser gave us a tour of the building. Construction workers still putting the finishing touches on the inside. The Institute works with industry to find ways to make things work more efficiently. That's the sustainability part, making sure we don't waste resources that will be needed by future generations. A $10 million gift from Tom Galasano helped build this state-of-the-art smart building. The $5 million in state money will pay for machinery to equip the building's many labs. I asked if taxpayers are getting their money's worth. Absolutely. Having the resources, the laboratories, the, 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 the know-how, at the university and ability to also educate uh, professionals in this area is, is critical uh, for our community to be effective, competitive in this area. We see some, uh, some great values to the community and to the state. Dr. Nasser stressed how important it is to have the resources, the laboratories, the know-how and the ability to also educate professionals in this area. He said it's critical for our community to be effective and competitive, but even with cutting edge technology, the building gives a nod to the past. Besides solar panels on the green roof, rainwater is collected down in the basement to flush the building's toilets.